Hello everyone and welcome back to another Jimping with Jacrispy video. Today we have another brand new knife from Miguel Nieto called the Warfare 2. Now before we start, as always, if you haven't already and you enjoy our content, go ahead and hit that like button and share this video with your friends and family. If you find yourself frequently coming back to the channel or want to receive notifications for when a new video drops, why not consider subscribing? With that aside, let's get straight into the unboxing. So this is the box the Naito Warfare 2 comes in. Dear God, look at the size of this. This is a big box. I love big things. Excuse me. The We have the Miguel Nieto logo there in black. And the most of the box color is gray. On the back we have the exact same thing. Pretty nice box. I really like the font and the emblem I have on there. Or logo. You could call it an emblem or logo. Let's go and open the box. And inside the box we have the black leather sheath the Naido comes with. And inside the sheath we have the Nayeto Warfare 2 fixed blade knife. Also attached to the sheath, we have this little Miguel Nieto catalog, I guess you could say. As of right now, there are only currently three variants of the Nie Nie Nieto Warfare. There is the Warfare 3 variant, which I went over in a previous video. Go ahead and check that out when you're done here. And the Nieto Warfare Plus variant. And of course, the variant I have with me, the Nieto Warfare 2. I think we should start with the sheath first. Let's look how nice this looks. Look at the nice black interior there. The sheath is made from black leather material and has two lanyard, two lanyard holes near the tip of the sheath. Attached to the lanyard holes is a black and red paracord that can be undone if you want to undo that and you, if you want to attach something else to through the lanyard holes. Pretty good knot. I don't think you should try to get that undone. I probably wouldn't have been able to do it. This sheath has a belt lock on it, so you'd wear it by attaching the sheath through to your belt and then snap it closed, or you could attach it to your belt loops if you're wearing jeans or shorts. I haven't seen a lot of people wear the knife like that, but just in case if you want to wear it differently. Now let's talk about the Nieto Warfare 2 fixed blade knife itself. The handle is made from a tan bow coat wood and has another small lanyard hole on the bottom with what appears to be another black and red paracord. Nieto is very generous on the paracord. Build my own rope with that. The handle is quite a bit large, so if you have smaller hands, you might have a bit trouble getting your full grip on the knife. But I do not have small hands, so get a nice grip on there. Look at that. The blade is made from 1.4116 vanadium steel and has a drop point style to it. The blade has a satin finish and has the Nieto brand on the blade. This is a very long blade compared to the handle. Wow, this is quite nice. Very large blade. Lastly, let's go over the lengths and specifications of the knife. The 4.116 vanadium steel blade is 6.5 inches long. The tan bow coat wood handle is 5 inches long. And the overall length of the Nieto Warfare 2 is 11.5 inches long. So, about a foot. Looks pretty cool. I mean, the blade is just very long. Very long fixed blade knife. I'm going to keep this. And that's about it for today's review. Like I said at the beginning of the video, there are currently three variants of the Warfare. All three variants are available on our website as of this video's release, ranging from $58.95 to $79.95. If you all have enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like on the, the video and subscribing to the channel if you want to receive notifications. Thank you all for watching. And I hope all of you have a great rest of your day.